Uh, <laughs> uh, he was just, you know, telling us to just keep doing what we're doing. It was like little adjustments we had to make because there was a little, little game stuff that we tried to adjust. And then, you know, obviously it was a physical game. Uh, we have another physical game coming up, so this was like good preparation for that game for sure. What did you see from Lamont? You know, our point guard, PG1, he was out there running the show, playing off two, things that coach teaches us every day. And he was just being very assertive and efficient. It was great. Coach said you all had a uh, for him downhill. Vermont? Yeah. Oh. But y'all uh, gave him a nickname yesterday. Oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I forgot. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Thank you. Yeah. So, shots that are falling, what's the kind of, is there any message or is it just keep shooting? Obviously, keep shooting. That's what Coach preaches, you know, keep shooting. But, you know, we just want to hang our hats on our defensive defensive effort, you know, go out there, get stops, because our defense is going to lead to offense. You know, if we get stops out there, it leads to transition, and transition, we're, you know, best team in the country, so that's what we want to do. You know, make stands on defense, and that's going to translate to our offense. You guys are known for high scores, shooting, you know, you know running up and down the floor. Do you, do you sense that teams are trying to tough, you can kind of challenge your toughness a little bit? Yeah, you know, especially with a team, like, this is like their, that team's uh, identity, going out there and trying to be tough and be the more physical team. So that was a good, it was a good test for us, you know, especially because we got some big games coming up. So I feel like that definitely prepared us. And, you know, it was a good fight. It, obviously, it was a good game till, till the end. So it was definitely a good test. What did you guys talk about? Did you guys talk about anything when that, all that was going on? Uh, just now is our time to make a run. You know, we had the whole crowd behind us. Uh, the momentum, you could definitely feel the momentum shift. And, um, yeah, just go out there, be uh, fight for your brother, have each other's back, and we'll be good. Have, you, have teams tried to be more physical with you as the season has gone along? Uh, that's a good, I mean, yeah, kind of. I feel like as, as the season going on, you see more teams try to get more physical. Like, that's kind of, I don't think that's really making a difference. You know, it, it helps us, though. Because some of our actions, you know, we want we want to be physical, and it helps us get off to certain reads and certain looks. So I feel like that's definitely helping us. But defensively, being physical, that's that's what's gonna you know separate guys when it comes to March and April. And that's where we want to play. So I feel like that's definitely helping us out, helping us right now, and it's it's good tests. Seem like the, the technicals and the, the flagrant kind of lit a fire under you. <clears throat> increase the focus there for the the end of the game, you guys really kind of put the hammer down. Yeah, yeah, definitely did. You know, it just brought us a little more together, especially with the crowd behind us and stuff. I feel like the momentum definitely shifted once, once that happened. What was it? Sorry, we're just getting in here, but what can you speak on the emotions of this game and why do you feel like maybe it, they were so high? Uh, you know, they're just a little physical team, a little chippy out there. You know, they're doing a couple, like a little dirty things that refs didn't see at first. So, you know, you build, build a little frustration, you know, for some for some of us. So you know, at the end when that that ultimately happened, uh, Kobe, you know, obviously going going to get going to pick up his brother and you know fight for his brother's back and stuff. So that just brought us together and that just you know yeah, game speaking changed. Of, speaking of the frustration, Pope always talks about how you guys always turn frustration into fight, and it's one of you guys' biggest qualities on this team. Can you just speak more on that? Yes, yeah, that's, that's something he just preached ever since we were out in um, the summertime. Even when not, not, it doesn't have to be physical. Even like if we're not if shots aren't falling, or you know we're turning a ball over anything. Any frustration we have, just turn it into fight and keep doing what we do. Make it makes us do what we do even more, even better, even stronger, even faster. So it just, that's definitely a quality we have, and it helped us definitely. Do you feel like you guys are, um, I mean, all season, kind of able to wear teams down? I noticed you guys go on some runs late, and is that, you know, you're all depth, obviously, playing a role there. Yeah, called the Jenga moment, you know. The Jenga tower is always going to, it's going to eventually fall. So as long as we keep stacking up, we keep doing what we do, the Jenga, the tower is going to fall. That's, that's what we call it in the locker room. So that's definitely a quality we have, you know, just keep doing what we do. No team can match up with us, especially as we get deeper and deeper into the game. So definitely feel like that helps. Can you just talk about this roller coaster of a game? You know, they keep it close, and you go up by 15, and they cut it within six, and then you win by 29. Like, just <laughs> what this game was like for you? It was a good test. You know, they're a physical team. You know, they came out, they had nothing to lose. That's that's, that's, that's what's good about playing these teams. You know, they come out with a lot, uh, a lot of chip on their shoulder with nothing to lose, and it's a good challenge for us, especially with these two big games coming up. So I feel like that helped us a lot for sure. Does like shooting get contagious? Like when you see some, when you see a couple of shots go in, like does it kind of like? Make you just everybody else be a little more loose. Yeah, for sure. You know, you just see your teammate shot go in, and it's like you got an open shot. You know, feel like you're gonna make it too. You know, you know, we have a great team of shooters, so just being in the gym all the time, we just feel like we all can shoot and all make shots. So once you get your opportunity to make it, you just you just do. So it's great. The, the, the um, recipe to upset in Rupp Arena is usually hitting the threes, and I mean they did that tonight. 
Well, um, what does it say about the team that you guys were able to come out with the win, even though they, I mean, hit more threes than you guys? Oh, I feel like we were just a tougher team. You know, we, we hang our hats on our on the defensive end and trying to get stops, and you know, just stops leading into our offense. You know, we have probably the best offense in the country, so just us getting stops that led to our offense, and you know, when you get an offense, it's hard to stop. I know you've probably already been asked about this, about the fracas, but what, what can you say about that? What, what were some of the things that you guys said in the break when the officials were, were discussing it? What were some of the things you guys were talking about? Uh, we just, you know, stay together. You know, we, we stay together, make our run right now. We, we, we felt the momentum shift for sure. So just have each other's back, stay together, and just keep doing what we do, and they're going to break, you know. Like, we felt the crowd, and the crowd got into it, so we just knew that they were, they were going to crumble at some point. Is that what's going into you guys scoring over 100 points per game by the crowd? Or what, I mean, what, how are you guys doing that? I mean, it's crowd, obviously, but, you know, we, we work on our offense every day. We have probably the best offense in the country, you know, probably the most talented team in the country, too. It's just a perfect mix, I feel like. So I feel like it's hard to guard us. It doesn't matter what type of defense you run or anything. It's just hard to stop us for real. Can you talk a little bit about um, Thanksgiving? Uh, hope so? And then with two, obviously four home games here, um, but, but two road games coming up with a big road trip, what are you guys looking forward to, to kind of getting out and uh, I guess kind of being together on the road? It's a test. Um, we haven't really had a first real road game yet, so I think everybody decided to get out to Clemson. Just competing with other tough physical teams, so um, I mean, so we're really we're excited to get out there and hopefully win the ball game. <clears throat> Can you just talk about the advantage of how maybe you know a night like Bray, he might not be shooting very well, but seven guys still finish in double figures. How nice is it to have? so much talent on this team where everyone can contribute, you know? Yeah, I mean, it's huge. Um, like you said, it's not just one guy. Um, we've been preaching out all summer, all year. Um, I mean, it's, it's huge when you got people that can step up and it's not just one player. Jackson, the free throw shooting has been a little bit of a problem the last couple of games for you guys cleaned up tonight. Have you guys been putting an emphasis on kind of improving that in practice? Yeah, uh, I mean, big shout out to Amari. He went seven for seven tonight. Um, so, I mean, that's, that's huge. Um, you know, a huge accomplishment for him. I know he's been working every day for that. So, um, but yeah, I think we do need to improve our free throw shooting. But um, I mean, it's part of the game. Coach, Coach Pope uh, mentioned the 62 points in the paint. How impressed he was with that. Just can you talk about how, like, a night that you guys aren't hitting the three, you guys are able to go in the paint and um, outscore them. What does that say about this team? This shows how versatile we are. Uh, we can score in a lot of different ways and. Um, like we were saying earlier, it's not just one player. So, I mean, it's really exciting and um, great that we have such a, a, you know, that everybody can do do something. So, um, it's really cool. I'm sure you're used to this after last season. But hold on, hold are on. You, listen, listen. So, we put in a play a month ago, double wide. What did you think of the play when we first put it in? He hated it. <laughs> How do you feel about it now? It's great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, That's why I get paid the big bucks. <laughs> <laughs> was that uh, have anything to do with the first couple shot? When, uh, when did that come out? No, nah, that was in the second half. Second half. Yeah. What? Um. I mean, going back to last season, I'm sure you guys got used to kind of teams wanting to take away that three from you. Are you just kind of accustomed to, to coming into games expecting teams to just try to run you guys? Uh, yeah. Um, I was pretty frustrated there in that in that first and second half. Just I feel like I got a lot of open looks tonight that I usually don't get, and they weren't dropping. But um, I mean, coaches made a big emphasis on me getting to the paint, making plays for my teammates, and they did a good job that tonight. How much everybody talks about the three ball, but how you had those two early um, coming in, kind of kind of runners early in the game. How much can that set the tone for? Uh, even if you don't have the open so I just kind of get yeah. that spin. Like you said, it sets the tone. I think it gets me going. Uh, it opens up my game. Um, so I think just trying to make an emphasis, like I said, get into that pain and just freeze everything up for me. Jack Sarger, Ant was in uh, Rep Arena for the first time tonight. What was it like uh, playing in front of her? I mean, it was cool. Um, I mean, she doesn't get to come to many games, so uh, it was a special one for me and her. Awesome. Jackson, what do you feel like it says about your team when you guys can adapt to situations? Rings aren't really working the best night, but in the paint you guys really killed it. How do you think that speaks to your guys? Yeah, I mean, it's huge. Um, it shows that we 
can score in a variety of ways, not only on the three-point line. Um, I think Amari did a great job tonight, um, especially after after last game. He was a little disappointed in his performance, but I think he came out and, and showed that dog. Is there a conversation that you guys may have to point to, hey guys, this isn't working, we need to switch things up, or does it kind of happen naturally? Uh, I think a little bit of both. Uh, I know like if you see a dead ball or anything like that, we're always huddling up, just talking to each other, talking about what we see in the game. Um, but I think also, like you said, it comes naturally. Um, you know the three is not falling, and you got to make other plays. So I think this team does a great job of that. What's it like being on a team that has seven guys finishing double figures? It's huge. Um, it's the first time I've had it happen in my collegiate career. So um, just got to keep it going. Do you realize that as it's happening? Or is that kind of you look at the box score um, later and you're like, oh. <laughs> I would say so, yeah, just because we're such an unselfish team. Um, it's, it's pretty normal for us. With, uh, with Colin Chandler, how much do people need to remember about how much of a, of a process this is with him coming back? Yeah, it's huge. Um, I mean, I played like at BYU, and uh, I think there was like four or five guys that just came back from the mission when I first got there. And, um, I remember talking to Down about it, and it, he said it usually took him like it took him like a year to really get back on his feet and uh, just get his feel for the game back. Um, but I think Colin's been doing a great job of progressing. Um, I mean, he's going to be a star. I know Colin's going to come to you. Or, or he said it early in the preseason, at least, and kind of asked about pointers about how people have, have gone through this that you've seen. Is he somebody you're kind of going to and, and not reassuring necessarily, but you know, kind of keeping up with it? And yeah, keeping him up. Yeah, uh, I mean, play the same position. Uh, I know that Colin usually subs me in uh, that first that first time out. So um, yeah, just try to keep him confident. Let him know it's a process. Uh, I think he's been doing great when he gets his minutes and just knowing that every minute counts. Coach Pope said that after that scuffle, you guys kind of used that emotion to focus you versus getting off your game. What was it like for you guys out there? Um, I mean, I guess it, it worked. I don't know. Um, like you said, the scuffle kind of got us going in that second half. Um, hopefully it doesn't take a scuffle for us to be able to play that way. But, um, I mean, I think it sh shows how much fight that we have and um, just the grit that we have and determination. You we kind of count on you. We kind of count on you to kind of interpret Coach Pope's speak for us. In terms of that scuffle, he said it was important to determine the difference between focus and distractions. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what do you think he, he means by that? Um, just, you know, like playing within ourselves. Um, I feel like there for a little bit, everybody kind of got a little amped up just from the scuffle that happened before. And we got to the huddle and he had told us, like, we just need to focus on ourselves. Don't, don't worry about what they have going on. And I think the team did a good job of that tonight. Um, like you said, that scuffle, after the scuffle, we, we picked it up. So it was good. What did you think of Otega's kind of double clutch over the head <laughs> dunk? Yeah, I haven't seen him pull that out yet. But um, i seen the highlight from him doing the OU, so it was nice. You guys are going on the road twice next week. And you're talking about funneling and energy. Coach Pope talked about it. How are you guys think you're going to do on the road? You've been in those big road environments. You were in the Big 12. Otago was in the Big 12. How, how do you think this team will fare? And how do you funnel energy when it's opposite, when it's not 20,000 fans screaming in your face? Um, I mean, I, we got the experience. Uh, this is an old team. Um, so, I mean, it's our first road game together. I'm um, excited to get out there and just play a, a tough Clemson team. Uh, hopefully come out with a win. But um, I don't know. I don't really have much to say about that until we experience it. So, you you kind of struggled there for a minute shooting behind the arc, and then Kobe did as well, and you guys got it, seemed to get it going there. How important is it for this team when you guys can do that? But also on the flip side of that, how important is it that when you guys aren't doing that right away, other players are picking it up, you're finding different shots, he's, playing, he's making different adjustments. Just how important is that? I mean, it's huge. Um, can't be one-dimensional. Uh, you got to find different ways to, to contribute, whether that's rebounding, playing defense, uh, like you said, getting different shots besides threes. I think you did a good job of that. So there's so many shooters on the team, um, and so when it's not working, y'all had 64 points in the paint tonight. Is there a moment in time where you're all like, okay, it's just not flowing, we've got to hit, maybe target Carr, target Amari? Like, is there any moment where y'all just kind of have the green light the entire game and just kind of take what comes with that? Um, I think a little bit of both. 
Um, like you said, just take what comes. Uh, even if it's an open shot and you've missed the last three weeks, everybody on the bench and in the crowd expects you to shoot it again. Um, but on the flip side, like we know if we're not hitting shots, and Andrew Carr has gone eight points uh, straight just in the post, we need to feed Andrew Carr. Um, so it's, it's a really thin balance, but I think this team does a good job of figuring that out. You've been practicing at Rupp. Uh, from what I understand, uh, how, how important is it to be practicing in a gym that you're actually playing games in? It is, it's huge. I mean, I heard that we hadn't, or I guess not we, but... Guys, yeah. when you get into kind of that situation for the first time in the season... Yeah, I mean, we're a tough team. We're together at all times. Uh, you know, we, you know, we're always going to fight for each other and, you know, be there for each other. So, you know, that was just one uh, you know, one example of us doing that. Uh, and, you know, throughout the year, we're going to always be there for each other and uh, try to win games. How did they kind of, how did they kind of game the coaches for playing the game with one guy? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, this was a great game. Georgia State was a good team. You know, they were very physical, um, you know, defensively and offensively. You know, you know, Team to put body on guys and things like that. So you know, we're just gonna try to be able to. You know, we were able to handle the physicality today, so we're gonna keep you know, using that throughout the year. And you know, whoever we play, we're gonna go out there and try to win. 18 points for tonight, Jalen. They different in warm So what, what? How was it just flowing for you tonight? Uh, no, I was just uh, you know being aggressive. You know, I got so many dangerous guys on the court. Sometimes you know I'm able to you know get to the rim and uh, drive one on one because everyone's you know out there fanning out to. To the shooter, so I think you know just the ring was open today. You know, I attacked, and I, you know that was, that's all it was, just being aggressive. You seem to love that physicality. You, you always had that physical game. Uh, uh, yeah. Not always in high school. I was kind of smaller, um, but you know I'm I'm just always trying to win. So whatever it takes to win, be a, it be a physical it is what it is. Uh, you know I just go out there and try to win. Yeah, what's the secret? It seems like every time you drive down the lane, you're able to create space for yourself. Is there a secret to that? Teach us. Yeah, I just try to, you know, try to do some play off two feet, like Coach Pope has been. Did, did you, you, I was trying to remember what you told me yesterday at dinner. Uh, did you? What was it they called you? When, we took a rim to the bucket. Oh, bucket. downhill bucket. Downhill oh, yeah, bucket, yeah, yeah. right? Downhill <laughs> bucket. Yeah, yeah. Not anymore. Not exactly. Yeah, yeah. Like, probably. But. <laughs> yeah, nah. So I just try to be patient and, uh, you know. Know, try to attack. Uh, you know, sometimes I get a good shoulder, a good shoulder bump on the guys, and be able to create space. But uh, I'm just trying to you know, go out there and you know, make plays for myself and other, and others. What did you think of Otago's dunk? It looks like he had done yeah. something like that before, right? Yeah, finally <laughs> show us a little something this time. You know, I had to uh, reverse, you know, right. windmill, whatever. Double clutch in there. Double clutch, yeah. So that was nice. I like it. Coach Pope said that you walked up and told him that Kerr only had three more to get his thousand three points. So you said you were the one that kind of encouraged him to start putting those shots up at the end of the game. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I knew he needed three more. You know, it was something we had talked about. He said he needed 12 points, I think, before the game. And then once he had nine, I was like, Coach, he can eat three more. So, uh, you know, I wanted to see him hit one, but, you know, he didn't. So he'll get it next game or, you know, whenever. Coach Pope talked about how you guys funneled that energy tonight. I know you weren't on the court when the chippiness happened, but when afterwards he said you guys kind of funneled it and were able to use it to your advantage. And he said, well, next week we go on the road twice. How do you think this team will be prepared and be able to funnel that energy going on the road twice next week? Yeah, I mean, I think they just they just woke us up a little bit at that point. But it was a time we were, uh, you know, they went on a big run. And, then, you know, after that scuffle, you know, we were just, we were ready to go at that point. You know, ready to fight back and, uh, you know, just play hard. You know, uh, take and make some big plays. Had those, uh, kind of got the run going for us. And then everybody else just came in ready to, ready to compete. So, uh, it just, just worked well for us today. It, you were getting to the basket an awful lot tonight. Was that something that you kind of been evolving and getting better at and kind of getting more comfortable with in this offense? We've seen you do it time and time again in the past. Or was it something you saw in third defense that you knew you could take advantage of tonight? Uh, I was just more reading it. Uh, I was definitely just reading it. I mean, they were staying home on, a, on a, all of our shooters and the bigs were playing highs on the screen. So I was able to get to the rim. Um, you know, uh, Amari was setting hard screens. Andrew was setting hard screens on pick and rolls. And I, I got downhill because the big didn't commit, and you know, I was able to lay the ball up. So I was just pretty much reads, you know, just trying to be aggressive and you know, go out there and win, make, make plays. That's what it was. You think Coach was going to go out there and start throwing hands? <laughs> no, Coach wasn't going to go out there. He was one of the first ones out there. I mean, 
it just shows he's got your all's back. You know, what's the all's relationship like there? It, could you have seen that coming? Yeah, I mean, we definitely know he got our back at all times. Just the, the love that he has for us, the passion that he brings every day, the energy. Uh, so we always know we got uh, he got our back and we got his. So I think that's how the team is. We had a shoe thrown last game when we got this tonight. <laughs> what, what, I mean, we, should we be worried for Clemson? Or something? <laughs> <laughs> nah, we, I don't know. I don't know. We just going to try to win. That's all. What can you say just about the response and just those last 10 minutes, how did you guys just came together and, uh, you know, the rally? Yeah, I mean, we just responded well. Um, you know, we had went on, they had went on a, a good run. Uh, you know, we just, we just rallied back. You know, we've been good at responding all year throughout the summer, fall. Um, you know, the Duke game, we responded there. So it was just a, just another response. You know, we were able to, to be resilient and, you know, go out there and play our game. Like I said, Otega made some big plays. He had the, the steal, the dunk, and he had the lob pass to Amari. Uh, I think that just kind of fired it up, fired the crowd up and everything. So, uh, so we, yeah, we're just going to try to continue to use energy and, and go out there. Do you almost ex expect people to kind of challenge you a little bit when you guys are running and going and scoring high points, shooting the ball well? Is it kind of natural for someone to say, okay, let's see if they can handle some physicality? Yeah, I mean, I, mean, I think that's a, you know, just one way to you know, try to stop us. I mean, oh, no, we've got so many different weapons and so many – different things that we run and so it is hard to just say you know they're going to try one thing you know physicality is definitely one uh, but you know we're physical too so we, we didn't seem to stop you tonight it yeah inspired. yeah i mean yeah it inspires us i mean we we just play the game you know we don't really you know, look at you know what other teams doing we just go out there and be ourselves and uh, i think that's good enough to win is it a testament to your all's togetherness the way Kobe jumped right right in there and you know Otego is right there? <laughs> yeah, I mean we always got each other's back, so uh, that was just like I said, one example of it. Um, we we love each other, so we never gonna let you know, no one take advantage of each other or uh, you know so things like that may happen. Who can you say about the Ainsley's game tonight and just the spark that he provides? Yeah, Ainsley did great. I mean he was out there hitting threes, um, you know. Being physical on the, because they did a lot of duck ins. He was out there guarding the duck ins, being physical. He got a couple steals, um, fast break layups. He just just brought great energy for us the whole game, and he was very appreciative. These downhill buckets to the rim, has that been part of your game before now, or is it something that kind of this system has enabled you to take advantage of? Uh, no, I've always been really good at getting downhill and getting to the paint and you know, either scoring or making a play for others. I think that's just one of you know one of my special abilities is to get in the paint and will. I um, mean, you know, tonight I was able to do it and, and get layups because, you know, no one was at the rim. So it was, it was good. Making it look easy. I try. I try. <laughs> Lamont, what were you guys discussing during that long review while they were starting to do after the, the scuffle? Uh, we were just, just saying stick together. Um, you know, a run was coming, be us, you know, dive into us, and, uh, you know, it, it happened. You know, take and make some big plays, and we all just fed off that energy. What's it like being on a team that has seven guys finishing double figures? Uh, it's, it's amazing. It just shows to our depth. Um, I mean, the great talent that we have on this team. You know, I saw it from the summer. Uh, just everybody, just so good. Just, uh, so every day we, we competed, and you know, tonight you know, we, we competed well. Got some guys out, was out there scoring. And, you know, I think every night that can happen. You know, to have a different scoring leader, different people scoring high double digits. Uh, people might score lower than you expect. You know, it's just it's just a team effort every night. Can you just speak on the chippiness of these last two games and how it's really just going to prepare you for next week, these two tough road challenges? Yeah, I mean, we just go out there and play. So, you know, however it goes, you know, we, we do anything to win. You know, sometimes we get chippy, chippy sometimes we get physical. Uh, sometimes it's easy, easy road. But, uh, you know, we just go out there, do anything to win, be us, and compete. What was the crowd like tonight? It was great. It was great. I mean, it was sold out from the jump. I mean, we <laughs> when we're doing the, the lineups, you can see, like, Everybody in there standing up and all that. So, uh, and then you know, after the scuffle, it just even got louder in there. So, uh, it was a great day. They really willed us to win. Is there any part of you that looks forward to kind of getting getting out there on the road and in the arena and where the world is against you? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, we can't wait just to show you know other people what we can do. I think it's going to be our first road test, like real road test, uh, going to Clemson. Um, so, you know, we just got to be us. I uh, know that we. We're all that we got, and I think it's good enough to win. Is being a veteran squad, is that how you guys were able to kind of focus rather than let it get emotional after that scuffle? That definitely played a part. You know, we've all been playing basketball for so long that, you know, we know, you know what kind of things happen in the game. And, you know, we were just able to stay calm and, you know, stay stay with us and, uh, you know, just use that energy to go out there and, you know, compete even more. Do you like those true road games? 
Uh, yeah, I mean, it's fine. It's a test. It's hard to win road games. So, I mean, I've been in college for, what, it was my fifth year, so. Uh, it's hard to win a road game, so to go out there and you know, try to compete and win one, uh, I'm excited to see how we respond. Win or lose, where, where were the places, a couple of them, that you really enjoyed going into as the, the enemy of the bad guy? Oh, at San Diego State, you're saying? Um, New Mexico was a fun place to play at. They were rowdy. Um, Boise State, Utah State was, was hard as well. I'll say those those three that were in my conference that were, those were tough. GCU, we played those of them. They were, they were loud, so. This is going to be a new experience with Kentucky across your chest. Oh, for sure, for sure. I can't wait. What did you think when you saw Coach Bo running out there during that scuffle? <laughs> uh, I mean, he was he was just having our back, making sure every everything was good, uh, making sure we were good. So it, it was cool. I didn't think he was going to do anything.